least 215 people. Two people dead. 14 to 16. 18 children died in the school. At least 49 people are dead. Many others seriously wounded. I heard rapid shooting. Just boom, 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 boom. It's very difficult to protect against somebody who is intent on killing either first responders or innocent people. We can and we need to be doing more to have the type of technology in place to protect our first responders and the people that they're trying to protect from potential killers who have no respect for any laws or any regulations. Up to five officers have been shot in some kind of encounter. 17 people are now confirmed dead. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. First Responder Technologies, Inc. is a concealed weapons threat detection technology company that utilizes commercial Wi-Fi for detection. The most innovative part is that if we can utilize Wi-Fi to do the dangerous object detection, this could be a, a game changer because the cost will be much lower comparing to the X-ray based security systems that are installed in the airport, sports stadiums, and also in some museums. So we see that could be uh, widely deployed. So the public safety uh, could be largely improved or significantly improved by using this low cost approach. Wi-Fi signals, it has the OFDM um, configuration inside of it, and inside of OFDM technologies, we can extract the channel state information. And by looking at the channel state information, it provides detailed information, such as how the signal is reflected or absorbed by the materials. So we mainly can look at metals and also liquids that can help us to determine whether it is weapon or it is uh, possible chemicals that contain uh, explosives to help us determine whether there are any dangerous objects. First Responder Technologies is developing a wearable version of its concealed weapons threat detection technology. A wearable version will enable first responders to have better information and analytics in the context of a dynamic, threatening situation. We've also been working to develop a short-acting pepper spray, which provides a less lethal option for use of force. You know, as Canada's Minister of Public Safety, I had the opportunity to be in some real-life situations. Officers are called to a domestic dispute, and as they're moving into that operation, highly volatile, they have no idea what possible firearms could be inside? If we had the technology, which we do now, to forewarn those officers. These are the types of situations that made me realize our officers need the best, not just in training, which they have, but also in technology. That type of device being available to the first responder can be all the difference between life and death, not just their lives, but the lives of innocent people around them.